hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel okay here is another olympiad maths problem this question says that what is the sum of all proper underline the word proper fractions whose denominators less than or equal to 100 okay so in other words they're asking us to get the sum of all the proper fractions you can get whose denominators and uh, first of all what is a proper fraction so you recall that a proper fraction is a fraction x over y where x and y are members of uh, the integers especially if I let's use n instead of using integers are members of uh, n and um, also your uh, x must be less than your y so uh, when this is fulfilled you say you have a proper fraction of course in this case we are talking about positive uh, uh, fractions okay so now so the question is asking us to get the sum of all the possible proper fractions with denominators less than or equal to 100 okay so how are we going to get that now it's important that we note that the fractions are going to be stuff like this. This is how it's going to look like. You will have the first one is fractions with their denominators as two, and that's the only proper one there is half, okay? So then the next one is with the ones with the denominators as three. So there you will get one over three, you will get two over three, okay the next if you put three over three that will be one which is not a, a proper fraction and k and then the next one is the ones with denominators as four one over four two over four and three over four okay and so on if you go to five you have one over five two all over five you have three over five and then you have four all over five okay and then there is something uh, of course it continues this way for all other ones for denominators as six you will always have the numerator to be one less than the that's the number of fractions you will get will be one less than the denominator so if i have a denominator as six as seven i'm expecting six fractions that's a one over seven or a two over seven up to six all over seven okay so of course you will get six fractions there right now what's important to us in this place now is uh, how do we now get the sum are we going to do this up to 100 how do we do it faster remember that olympiad exam is all about speed and accuracy okay so to be able to do that we are now going to do a generalization that is going to help us, you know, be able to get our solution. All right. So uh, if I have something like, uh, say, 2.5 all over 5, is this not a proper fraction? Of course, it is a proper fraction. But you must note that no matter what numerator you have, even that numerator, if it happens to be a, a fraction, that's a decimal, if you convert it, you will still get another fraction, which will still fall under all of these that we are getting. Remember that the next set will be the ones with denominators as 8, the next will be the ones with denominators as 9, 10, 11, 12, down to 100. Okay, for instance, if you look at this one now, you could see that this is the same thing as uh, 5 over 2 all over 5, which is actually the same as 5 over 10, which is actually 1 all over 2. So you would see that all of this will still transform into something that will fall under this category that we are given here. It's a general category. Every fraction will eventually fall into this. So far as it is um, a, a number that is expressible as a fraction. Okay, so let's quickly look at uh, what to do now. So the sum we are looking for will eventually be of this form. So you will have half, which is the first one, plus the next one will be 1 over 3, and the 2 over 3 will sum together. And then after that, you are now going to have 1 over 4, 
Okay, that's for the ones that will have denominators as four. And so it will continue that way. You will have the one that will have denominators as five. So it will continue that way until you get the ones that will have denominators as 100. So let me end it with 98 over 100 plus uh, 99 all over 100. So it will continue like this until it gets to 99 over 100. Okay, so how do we now get the sum? This is what our duty now is. Okay, so see what we are going to do now. So we'll try to simplify each of them. Now you see that by the time you simplify this, you are going to form a sequence. The first one remains your half. And then the next one, of course, if you add this, you are going to get um, 3 over 3, which is a whole number. And that 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1. Now, but in this sequence, we want to form a sequence where all the denominators are going to be the same. And that denominator is going to be the first denominator that we have here, which is 2. So how can I write 1 to give me a denominator of 2? And that's easily 2 all over 2. Okay, so we we'll go to the next one. By the time you do this next one, you will definitely get something that will also be over 2. Okay, so if we sum this, this is going to be 6 over 4. And by the time you reduce this, you will get 3 all over 2. And plus, if you do the one for five, you are going to just add extra, that's another one, which is four over five. So that will be one over five plus uh, two over five, up to four over five. And that will eventually give us, if you add everything, you are going to get six plus four, which is, okay, let me write that. So you have three all over five. Then the next will be four over five. So if you add these fractions, you're going to get 10 all over five. And 10 over 5 is actually equal to 2. So the question now is, how do I now write 2 to be a fraction where the denominator is 2? And that's simply 4 all over 2. So now, if you continue this sequence, it will keep going this way until the last one. That's the fractions where the denominators are 100. Uh, uh, is going to give you a total sum of uh, 99 over 2. Okay, so that's what you're going to get. So the, it's going to form this series. It's actually a series, not just a sequence. So it's going to be a sum of 1 over 2, 2 over 2, 3 over 2, 4 over 2, 5 over 2, 6 over 2, 7 over 2, 8 over 2, down to 99 over 2. I'm going to do that of 7 so that you will see that it's definitely going to give you 7 over 2. Remember that 7 is going to be 1 over 7 plus 2 over 7 up to uh, you keep adding until you get to 6 over 7, okay? That means I'm going to be adding 1, 2, 3 to 6. So if I add 1 uh, to 2, that's 3 to 4, that's 6 to 5, that's 15, then add 6, that's 21. So you see, you will have 21 over 7, which is equal to 3. Right. Okay, sorry. For the one of seven, we are going to rather get six over two. So, of course, by the time, remember, the first one is one over two, and then the ones with their denominators as three, okay, is two over two. Sorry, the denominator is always one bigger than the, 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 the number you have as your numerator here. So, for four, it's going to be three over two. For five, for the ones with denominators as five, it's going to be four over two. For the ones with denominators as 7, is going to be 6 over 2. And for the ones with denominators as, you can choose anything. Let's say, um, let's say something like uh, 25. For the ones with denominators as 25, that means it's going to be 24 over 2. Okay, and you can check if this is true. And to do that, we are going to check for this last one, which gave us 99 over 2. Let's see how we got that 99. Remember that it's going to be 1 over 99 plus 2 over 99 plus 3 over 99 down to, you keep going that way until you get to 98 uh, over 99. Sorry, 
I'm talking about, you know, the one that will give us 99 over 2 is over 100. The denominators will be 100. Okay, so this will be 1 over 100, 2 over 100, 3 over 100, up to 99 all over 100. Okay, so how did we get this sum to give us this 99 over 2? So let's quickly look at it. Of course, if you look at this, you will see that this is actually the same thing as, let me write here, this is actually the same thing as, uh, um, of course, you are summing 1 plus 2 plus 3 down to 99. Everything is over 100. Okay, so you are going to use series and sequence here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 to 99 is the sum of numbers from 1 to 99. So if I use the formula for sum of uh, uh, n terms, that's uh, equal to n over 2 into 2a plus uh, n minus 1. You remember this formula? Multiply by d and then you close your bracket. So this is going to give us our n. Remember, is 1 to 99. So our n is 99 all over 2. Then open your bracket. Your first term is 1. So 2 times a. Our a is 1. That's 2 plus. Your number of terms is 99 minus 1. That will give you 98. And what is the common difference? The common difference is simply 1. Because, of course, it's a, an arithmetic progression. So it's just adding 1, 1, 1. Okay? So this is going to give us 99 all over 2 multiplied by uh, this plus this is going to give us 100 okay so but remember that there is over 100 i only summed the numerators okay so you remember you divided by 100 which is this one all right and so this 100 will cancel this 100 and so you get 99 over 2 okay so that's how this 99 over 2 was gotten so if you do the same for all others for the ones with denominators as uh, 10 whatever you always get your value so now our job now is to get the value of uh, this particular series now. So let's try to sum this uh, series. So now you can see everything has denominator as 2. So that means I can bring out half. That's I can factorize half out. And if I do that, I will have 1. If I bring out half from the second one, I will have 2. If I bring out half from the third one, I will have 3. And it will continue that way 4 five until you get to 99 as well okay and you are done so simply note that this is the same thing as one over two multiplied by remember that i just summed one to 99 using series and sequence now and what did we get there we got 99 all over two multiplied by 100 so this is simply what we will do to finish our solution so this is going to give us 50 here and of course 2 again will go here to give us 25 and by the time you multiply these two you are going to get 2475 and that is the solution to this problem and this is where we end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel give a thumbs up to this video um, we will see you in our next video. Bye.